Guys, it is Beacon Fun Fan 97 here with another YouTube tutorial showing you guys how to get um, how to export your videos in Final Cut Pro 10 for YouTube or other social media networks. So all you gotta do is make sure you have this selected, and you wanna go to the share button up here, and you wanna go ahead and click export movie. Now you can upload it to YouTube just by clicking this, and once you've clicked this, to share to YouTube, you enter your pet, you would in insert your password, you would add an account. Uh, which is your username and this would be your summary which is your how much megs and how much how much the basic summary of your video and make sure you can, you can also set size automatically to the video settings or just check it and make it um, 720 since this is grayed out it's only checked on HD 720s because I film I recorded this on 720 um, I exported it in ScreenFlow at 720 Unless you um, export it at 10, 1080 in uh, ScreenFlow, then it, you can have the uh, 1080 feature. But in this case, I'm going to be showing you how to sh just export it onto your um, laptop or other media device. So all you got to do is just click Export Movie. And what this does is basically exports it with um, QuickTime, and this would give you a preview. You can just uh, move your cruiser around the video. And it'll give you a preview of what it's gonna look like after it's exported. Now you're gonna do is click go to the export and go to current settings. Make sure that it is at current settings. And after export, you can open it with whatever uh, app you want. And you want to make sure you want video and audio unless you just want the video. And the summaries um, again, how much uh, your basic summary of your video. You kind of click next, but this doesn't give you the much features. So what you want to do is click share. And you want to go to, um, looks like you want to go to, I'm not sure if this is iMovie or something else. Let's see. So you want to go to share, and you want to go to, yeah, so go ahead and click share, export using compressor settings. Uh, but you have to have this enabled or something like that. I'm not sure how you, um, would export it but you can just export it just like a normal movie if you wanted to make sure this is that well to up to you to upload it to youtube and make the file size a bit smaller is just by going to h.264 which is a mp4 file format and if you go to summary it has 298 megs the same that you share to um on youtube if you just click next it's the same exact file size um unless you cropped it or trimmed the video file if you see, if you go to YouTube and you just import all your settings and stuff. Uh, if this is selected to set size automatically, you can go to summary and it is 221 megs. While the other one is select H.264. It's oh, this one has a bigger um, video file because it's only being saved as dot move, not dot not H.264, but I mean it is H.264, but for some reason um, it's a different, it's basically how the resolution comes out. Higher resolution, the bigger file fi uh, file size it's going to be. But that's it guys, uh, this is just a quick tip, uh, and I'll be seeing you in another video. Hopefully you like this video, comment below, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.